I'm truly honored to present the Byron Brawley Award. Before I tell you about this year's recipient, I want to share with you a little bit about Byron Brawley and why we present an award in his name. Byron was president of this association in 1994. I know some of you probably weren't even born at that time. I served with him on his board and chaired this strategic, his strategic planning committee. He was a man of integrity, honor, kindness, a real gentle man. He was respected throughout organized real estate and he devoted many hours to this profession that he loved so much. He actually got his start working with my, my father-in-law's company in 1959. We honor those that serve the association and, prof and profession with integrity and honor. He used to say, everyone should have it so good. And I have to tell you that when he said that to me, it just made my day. We are lucky to be in this profession and lucky to benefit from Byron's inspiration. The recipient of this year did not choose this profession as their first. Initially a teacher, then principal and assistant superintendent. With his wife, they built and led a large brokerage for over two decades, both as an independent firm and franchisee. SCORE's 2021 president, Doug Goss, was a valued agent in that company for many years. That's a fun fact I didn't really know. With expertise in both real estate and law and real estate law and finances, this person has been honored to be in leadership of both state and national committees in those areas. Recently chair of the NAR Federal Taxation Committee, he is also chair of the Legal, Legal Action Fund for CAR. He is a CCIM Certified Commercial Investment Member in which he has completed advanced coursework in financial and market analysis and demonstrated extensive experience in the commercial real estate industry. I won't hold it against him that he graduated from USC. That's really a kudos to him. But if you're a UCLA or other supporter, sorry about that. He's a true dog lover. He also raised two children and has five wonderful grandchildren. His son's a CCIM and commercial broker in Silicon Valley. This person would prefer to be at his home in Morgan Hill or La Selva Beach, or probably anywhere in Italy. I'm honored to present the Byron Brawley Award to Dennis Badaliaco. Congratulations. Um, I, I, first of all, I, I'm totally shocked. And um, it's a funny story. When I came home tonight, Colleen said, you have to put a shirt and tie on for Doug Goss. And I, <laughs> Um, I said, yeah, I love Doug, but you have to put a shirt and tie on. <laughs> so that's why I have a shirt and tie on right, right now. Um, I'm truly honored and I'm humbled. Um, I, I knew Byron Brawley personally. I was part of a group of guys that, and, and women that went once a month to have breakfast with him. And his, he inspired all of us. Um, and to be thought of in that regard, uh, as a recipient of the Byron Bali Award means a lot. I remember Byron's favorite expression always was, no matter how bad it was or how good it was, he would always say, everyone should have it so good. Um, and, and that's my memory of, of Byron Brawley. Um, my volunteering for SCORE, CAR and NER uh, over, over the years is a, it's a little bit selfish. I, I feel, first of all, that if you're gonna do something, you should give back to the industry that was so good to you. And secondly, I learned so much. That's why that's why I've always done what I've done with those organizations. So um, I'm just Oops, did we lose Dennis there? I think we lost Dennis. Let's we can get him back. We did. Oh no. Oh no. It's wonderful. Oh, there he is. I'm going to, we're going to stop the press and we'll let Dennis go right back in. Thank there. you. Dennis, are you in there? All right. Thank you, Jim. 
Go for uh, it. I'm I'm back. Um, I I just want to thank you and I and let the scoreboard know that, to, in my feeling, there's there's nothing, um, no greater honor than you can receive than to be honored by your peers. Thank you very much to to all of the scoreboard for this honor.